that's gonna be fun. soldier was uh, um, issued 18 rounds of uh, 40 uh, millimeter um, chalk rounds so that way we can see where the fire hit and score them but we don't destroy the range. It's a little cold but uh, that's all right we're bundled up we're gonna die. Uh, the grenades it's different but uh, it's a good learning experience a little bit of a kick uh, chalk rounds go up it's a lot of fun. For the, uh, the soldiers that were out here qualifying on the grenade range they have the uh, uh, M320 assigned to their weapons. So that's why they were out here qualified with those two. So basically what this allows us to do is it allows us to maintain the security of our operational area for chemical, biological, radiological, and nu nuclear surveillance, um, decontamination, and so that we can maintain the perimeter and security so that we can keep our soldiers and our equipment safe. And it uh, just, uh, Gives, gives the soldiers a little bit more confidence in their ability to uh, perform their uh, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear tasks. Go ahead.
soldier was uh, uh, issued 18 rounds of uh, 40 uh, millimeter uh, chalk rounds.
Okay, I'm CW2, uh, David Allen. I'm the Seaburn Warrant Officer and uh, third platoon leader for the 704 Seaburn Company out of Arden Hills, Minnesota. And today we were out here to uh, we were supposed we were out here to qualify, but because of the cold weather and the uh, um, lack of knowledge with the uh, the 320, we uh, this is more of a familiarization out here to fire at the to zero, first zero the weapon and then fire at the various targets through the four stations out here on the 320 range at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. Um, <clears throat> tell us what the 320 is. Uh, the 320 is the updated version of the M203. The, uh, it's a grenade launcher that can either be fired by itself or it can be attached to the M4. Okay. And how many rounds did they fire? So each soldier was uh, uh, issued 18 rounds of uh, 40 uh, millimeter um, chalk rounds, basically. So, you know, uh, unfortunately out here on the grenade range, uh, it's not too good for the range if we blow things up. So instead of uh, using an actual H, uh, high explosive rounds and HE rounds, round, we use chalk rounds. So that way we can see where the fire hit and score them, but we don't destroy the range. When's the last first time? Is this the first time these soldiers have fired this most of the time? Or? Um, as far as I know, this is the first time that most of these soldiers have fired this weapon. What's their reaction been? Uh, the reaction's been pretty good. They're pretty positive. Pretty uh, happy to actually get the get the uh, piece of equipment out and fire it. So this is a chemical company. How do you how are you involved in grenade launchers? Well, for so even even being a chemical company, we still have to know our basic soldier skills. So if we get you know if we get overran or our position gets overran or if we need the extra security, that's where the grenade launcher comes in. And just uh, just overall area security. Okay. And then what else have you done? Uh, you talk out here to, we uh, so we came out here with the intent to uh, zero the M4 uh, rifle, uh, zero the M249 rifles, the uh, the saws, and then qualify it with our individual weapon systems. And then also for the uh, the soldiers that were out here qualifying on the grenade range, they have the uh, uh, M320 assigned to their weapons, so that's why they were out here qualifying with those two. So that way, when we leave this weekend, we're completely qualified on all of our individual weapon systems. Okay. And how many days? Was this like a four-day? Yeah, four-day four day drill. We drove out here on Thursday, convoyed out to Fort McCoy, um, got everything prepped. We came out here yesterday, Friday, and uh, we, we did, the zero, uh, did the zero range, and then uh, we, we uh, went over to the qualification range. And then we continued the qualification range for the uh, two four, the M4 and the M249, and then today we did uh, the uh, 320 range on top of that. Okay. Do you think that I didn't ask you that you wanted to tell American people? <laughs> uh, you know, thank, thanks to the taxpayers for spending the money so that we can be trained and qualified on our weapons. And uh, other than that, uh, no, I think we're good. How's this make it? How's this make your unit ready? Uh, well, this this makes our unit ready for our basic soldier skills, so, so that we, uh, it would call up to action. We're prepared to uh, defend or fight, you know, whichever, you know, so we can defend our soldiers, defend our equipment, and then also too, so we can uh, perform our seabird operations in the real world. Say that again, but tell us what seabird is. Uh, seabird is chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. Okay, so they say that last sentence instead of say it seabird. Oh, <laughs> so about how this helps us? Yeah. So basically what this allows us to do is it allows us to maintain the security of our operational area for chemical, biological, radiological, and nu nuclear surveillance, uh, decontamination, and so that we can maintain the perimeter and security so that we can keep our soldiers and our equipment safe. And it uh, just uh, gives, gives the soldiers a little bit more confidence in their ability to uh, perform their uh, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear tasks. Okay, perfect, thanks.